hello and welcome again to our PF Sense how to video series and for today's video I will show you how to configure PF Sense captive portal with Active Directory authentication so uh, I try to make this video uh, simple and short okay so first let me show you my network settings on VirtualBox so I have PFSense and Server 2008 R2 here for my Active Directory. So in my PFSense, my network settings, I have two adapter enabled. One is bridge for my WAN and the second one is internal for my LAN. In my Server 2008 R2, I have internal for my LAN also. Okay, so a captive portal, the goal or the primary objective of my captive portal is to authenticate uh, users before giving them access to the internet. So that's the purpose of our captive portal. Okay, so to start, let's go to our server 2008 R2 and let's install the network policy server so let's go here and with administrative tools and server manager as you can see I already installed the active directory and I already created some users here for our test later okay so we have our server manager here go to rules and add rules and let's add our uh, network policy and access services check the network policy server and routing and remote access services install let's just wait to finish the installation Okay, so installation succeeded and now we can close this window and our server manager. Now let's go to our uh, network policy server. Okay, so here in our Radius Clients and Server, let's click the Radius Clients and create new. Then give your give it a name, friendly name. And here in the address or IP side this must be the IP of our PFSense so let's check what is the IP of our PFSense so as you can see here we have 192.168.2.2 so we should enter here 192.168.2.2 <coughs> and here in our shared secret so select manual shared secret or password. So let's 
so let's uh, just enter I am a super user I am a super user so this is what it is important that you remember your shared secret that you define here because we will need this uh, shared secret later in our pfSense GUI configuration okay so click OK then go down here in our policy click network policies right click and create new network policy give it a name then click next add and I will select Windows group since uh, I will be using the Active Directory users group so just select Windows group add add groups then I will select here domain users so maybe you will ask why domain users it is because the users that we are going to use or the credentials of the users that we are going to use in our captive portal so these users are actually member of domain users okay so let's go back here so domain users okay okay next access granted next just leave the defaults here next next and go down here in encryption and unselect new encryption next finish okay so one last thing you need to do is to disable disable the okay so one last thing that you need to do is to disable the uh, default network policy okay so we have here the network policy that we just created okay so and you are done so that's all you need to do or to configure in our server side in our active directory in our radius server okay so now let's go to our pfSense GUI to enable our captive portal so in your pfSense dashboard let's go to services and select captive portal then add new captive portal give your portal a name continue then here in our settings of course we have to enable captive portal then select LAN interface here in after authentication redirection URL I will enter here the URL of my blog site so what it does is after the authentication in our portal the user will be direct we will be redirected to this uh, to this website that I define here okay so you can put any URL or any website in this part in authentication I will of course you have to select the radius and authentication and select the MSC HAP v2 protocol the primary radius server so IP address you must enter here the IP address of your server so let's check the IP of our server 2008R2 
So it has 192.168.2.201. So 192.168.2.201. Shared secret. So I am a super user. So I am a super user is the shared secret that I defined in our network policy server. Last thing is select LAN. And okay. So let's just review our settings. We have enabled Captive Portal, LAN, Redirection URL, Authentication, IP, LAN, and okay. So let's save our settings. But before we do that, let's uh, test first let's try to visit a website okay so as you can see uh, there's no captive portal yet and we are able to access the any websites directly okay so now that we are going to save our captive portal so that means we just enabled our captive portal and we should expect that every time the user is trying to connect to the internet or try to visit a website there must be a captive portal and will ask for uh, authentication credentials okay so let's close this first then let's try to visit Google again. So as you can see, our captive portal is now working. So this is the default uh, captive portal of PFSense. But of course, you can uh, modify the settings and the appearance. Okay. So let's try to enter a username okay so it says invalid credentials specified so why it is because I used the username user and the password but the, our PF sense captive portal is looking for the credentials in our active directory and here in our Active Directory, we just have Noriel and Super User. So that's why it says that the credentials are invalid. So now let's try to use the credentials of our user Noriel, for example. Noriel and enter our password. So if the credentials is valid, it must be redirected to my uh, blog site as I defined to my to, to our uh, PFSense captive portal settings. So here, as you can see, uh, we are the browser is redirecting us to the URL that we define in our settings in our captive portal. So that's it. So I think. Uh, our PFSense captive portal is uh, working fine with Active Directory authentication. Okay, actually you can check here in status captive portal. You can check the users that are currently uh, connected to your portal, and you can disconnect the users by clicking the disconnect button here. So let's try. Okay, so for example, we browse my uh, blog. Okay, so as you can see, it uh, it is asking again for a credential because we just disconnected him, or you just disconnected the user in our portal. Okay, 
so that's it so that's how you configure pfsense captive portal to authenticate with uh, active directory users so i hope this uh, video uh, has been helpful for you and if you have any question just uh, leave your message your comments to the comment section below and if you find this video helpful you can express your uh, support and gratitude by hitting like and sharing my videos and also uh, subscribe to my channel so thank you for watching until next time